the tide rises and the tide falls. Day after day, the sea seemingly remains unchanged. But there is a change so subtle that we may not immediately notice. Sea level rise. In recent decades, the global mean sea level has been rising by about 3 to 4 millimetres per year. You may wonder, where does the extra water come from? As the Earth warms, the glaciers and ice sheets at Greenland and Antarctica melt, adding water into oceans. As the sea water gets warmer and expands, the mean sea level rises. However, the rate of sea level rise is not uniform across the world because of various factors that affect sea level locally and regionally. One factor that affects regional sea level is ocean currents. The distribution and movement of sea water is altered due to climate change, causing sea level to rise at different rates in different parts of the world. Changes in the amount of water stored on land, such as extracting groundwater, could alter the eventual amount of water in the ocean. If this amount is increased, global mean sea level will rise. But beyond these factors, there are other factors affecting sea level rise as well. For low-lying cities and islands, the movement of land is a vital consideration for relative sea level rise. If sea level were to remain constant while the land sinks, the sea level is in fact rising relative to the land. Earthquakes and groundwater extraction are some factors causing land movement. Generally, sea level rise can bring about land erosion and coastal flooding, causing millions of people living at coastal areas to lose their homes. Singapore is an island surrounded by the sea, and about 30% of our land is less than 5 metres above mean sea level. This means that rising sea level poses an existential threat to us. As Singapore's National Coastal Protection Agency, PUB is leading the whole of nation efforts to develop coastal adaptation strategies and plans and to develop coastal protection measures. Because we are low-lying, Singapore is vulnerable to sea level rise and intense rainfall. At PUB, we are strengthening flood resilience holistically. We are not only addressing the threat of sea level rise, but also more intense rainfall and extreme events resulting from climate change. Adapting to sea level rise is a long-term and complex endeavour that requires proper planning. Singapore's third national climate change study, or V3, will provide us with the latest sea level projections. These projections serve as scenarios for the coastal and inland flood model that we are developing to enable us to carry out holistic flood risk assessment to guide our planning for coastal protection. Adapting the latest information from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or IPCC in short, V3 provides state-of-the-art sea level projections for Singapore and the region using improved data. V3 will provide past and future sea level results for six tight gauge locations in Singapore for the coming decades up to the year 2300. V3 will also inform us on past and future sea level change in the region surrounding Singapore. As our planet warms and sea level continues to rise due to expanding waters and melting ice, what changes lie ahead for our coastlines and the delicate balance of our world? Stay tuned to this space for the launch of V3 results. Follow us on LinkedIn or visit our website.